everyone and welcome back to Plants and Lucia. My name is Lucia and today I'm going to share my top 10 favorite common houseplants. Okay, coming up! Okay, I am very excited about this video because it's actually part of a bigger trend that is happening now in the plant community. I have to thank the crazy plant guy for making the first video on this trend. I think it's such a great idea to take a moment and really appreciate the beauty of our common house plants. And I think that is perfect for our community because as you know, I am a plant beginner, so most of our plants here are common house plants. And I think they're just as beautiful and interesting interesting as the rare plants. So now let me share with you my current 10 favorite common houseplants. Number one, the golden photos. As you know, this is a beautiful plant. I must say it's one of my favorite plants because it's so pretty. First of all, the leaves look like hearts and then it also adds some greens and golden tones to your room. This houseplant is super common here in Berlin and I think in other areas around the world and it is very easy to care for. One very nice thing about this plant is that it doesn't require so much sunlight. In fact, they prefer lower levels of light. So if you have a darker room in your place and you want to bring some green and some golden tones to the room, this plant is perfect for you. Another very good thing about this plant is that if you're starting to explore the propagation world, this plant is super easy to propagate. All you have to do is to cut a stem right below a node. So a node is where you see a leaf coming out of the stem. And then you put it in water. You will see roots in no time. So I tell you, this is a very easy plant and very beautiful. So if you find it at your plant nursery, I recommend that you get it. Okay, on to the next. Number two, the ZZ plant. So the ZZ plant is actually one of the first plants that we got. This plant is super popular for a house plant and super popular for beginners. This is because she is very strong and adaptable. So she can be happy in a bright room like this one, but she can also be happy in a darker room. Another very good thing about this plant is that it's very resilient. So if you're someone that is just starting with house plants, this plant is perfect for you. As long as you give her moderate watering, so you let the soil dry in between waterings, she will be very happy. So the setsa plant is a beautiful plant. She will bring lots of green to your space and is perfect for beginners. Let me know if the setsa plant is common in your area. I know that it's common in Berlin, but I would love to know if it's common around the world. Number three, the croton. If you want a splash of color in your house, this is a perfect plant. As you can see, some of the leaves are yellow, others are red, orange, green. This is a plant that will thrive with lots of bright sunlight. So if you have a room with a south facing window or a southeast facing window, this plant is perfect for that space. In my experience, the croton is very easy to care for and it's really beautiful. One tip that I can give you is that when you see that your croton is putting out many green leaves, this means that your plant may not be getting enough sunlight to put out more colors. So bring it closer to the window or just put it in a brighter place. Number four, the poinsettia. The poinsettia is a very common plant during the winter holidays. So we usually buy it for Christmas, New Year's Eve, the winter solstice, but generally people toss it out after the holidays. This year we decided to keep it with us and guys, it's a beautiful plant all year round. As you can see, it has more green leaves, but the leaves are beautiful and it has been so nice just to see her grow throughout the year. One thing that I learned with this plant is about bracts. So you know the red bright petals of this plant, they're actually not petals, they're bracts. These are basically leaves that have bright colors, in this case red, to attract pollinators. Isn't that cool? And on top of that, the green leaves are just so beautiful. The veins are very noticeable and the green is a light but very deep green. This plant is also good for darker spaces. I've noticed that she has done very well in our bedroom, which has a northwest facing window. So she gets afternoon sunlight, but she's very far from the window. 
so she doesn't get direct sunlight and she seems to be thriving there so if you get a poinsettia during the winter holidays i encourage you to keep her all year round you will not regret it number five the bird's nest fern this beautiful plant is also very common i actually got mine in a houseware store and it grows really nicely the leaves almost look like they're dancing because you can see lots of curves <laughs> And my favorite part is when I discover the new leaves coming out. In fact, we have two new leaves on this plant, so I'm going to show you now. As you can see, these are new leaves here, right there, and right here. And they actually come out as little rolls, as you can see, and then they unroll to become these fronts right there. If you have a bird's nest for an at-home, I would love to see it. So send a picture on Instagram and we can share them together. The next plant is another fern, the Boston fern. This fern is super common, super easy and very pretty. I love the fronds because it has many small delicate leaves. And you know, I have a personal story with this because I know that these ferns really like humidity. So I used to have it in my bathroom, but I used to forget to water it. So I decided to bring this plant to the living room so I don't forget about her. <laughs> and now she's putting out many fronds. You know, I think this is the best part of taking care of house plants. When you have an issue with a plant and then you try to observe it and you try different things. And then once you understand what is wrong, then you try to fix it or try to take care of her differently. And she will reward you. And I think that's the best feeling. So yeah, I love this fern. I hope that one day she will be really big. And if you have one, I would love to see a picture. So don't forget to send one on Instagram. Number seven, the peace lily. This plant is amazing and also very adaptable. She will be happy in bright indirect sunlight, but she will thrive in lower sunlight levels. It's a very common and easy plant. If you give her moderate watering and you provide moderate sunlight, she will be very happy. I want to share with you one thing that I learned recently about this plant from Summer Rain Oaks. And this is about the floral parts. The flower of the peace lily is usually white, but sometimes you will see that it's becoming green, like this one. So I'm going to show you right there. So this is actually because the plant is pumping chlorophyll to the floral parts. And this is basically so the flower can act as a leaf. So the plant has more surface to absorb the sunlight. Isn't that cool? I think it's pretty cool. Another very cool thing about this plant is that NASA has placed her in the top 10 air purifying plants on this planet. And that's a pretty cool title to have. I know this plant is super common and I think it's such a special plant. Next is this beautiful plant, the aloe vera. We have this plant in our bedroom, actually on my night table, so I see her every morning. And I can tell you, every morning she's a little bigger. In fact, we have a new leaf right here. So this plant is super special because first of all, it's super easy to care for. It grows really quickly. It's very beautiful and also it has many healing properties. As you may know, we can use the gel of the aloe for skin irritations, to take care of our hair, for beauty purposes. It's very useful and very healthy. Now, I haven't used the gel of this aloe vera because as you can see, the leaves are still not super thick, so I'm waiting for them to be thicker. But once I start using the gel, I will make sure to make a video about it and I can show you what I use it for. Number nine, of course, is the English ivy. My favorite part about this plant is the leaves. So we have a variegated type here and we have some tones of green, some cream. It's very beautiful and it really looks like watercolor, you guys. Another very cool thing about this plant is that we can propagate it really easily. All we have to do is to cut a stem and put it in water and you will see that the roots will grow really quickly. As a matter of fact, all of these ones are propagations. Number 10 is the first plant that we ever brought to our house and this is the bunny ears cactus. I had to put this cactus here because it's very common and it has been very good to us. <laughs> 
This is the first bunny ears cactus that we got and we got it because we thought there would be an easy plant and it is very easy but I'm gonna give you some tips that I have learned with this plant. First of all we don't want to give it too much water. Remember this is a succulent so they retain lots of water and that means that we don't need to water them as often. So for example I usually water this cactus every two weeks or so and in the winter I even cut back on water. The second tip I actually had to learn from experience and it is that these plants really like bright direct sunlight. So for example when we bought this cactus I decided to put it on a shelf in a very dark corner. So the plant started growing these very long thin arms and I didn't know why that was. But then I started to read more about it and basically the cactus was trying to get to the sunlight. So when we learn this we cut these very long branches and we place the cactus in front of a south facing window. So she got a lot of bright direct sunlight. And I can tell you she is very happy. This year we had so much growth. So all of these years 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are actually from this year. So it's really nice. <laughs> And you can find it in different colors. This is a red bunny ears cactus and then over here we have a yellow bunny ears cactus and I think there's also white bunny ears cactus. So yeah I really love this plant. Okay my friends so these are 10 of my favorite common house plants in our place. I would love to know yours so if you have a favorite common house plant make sure to share in the comments below. And as always I will see you in the next video. Okay, ciao! <laughs>